This time we're doing a neutralize field commander mission, and we're operating in the Warlock's territory. Unfortunately, our Reaper is shaken from the last few missions we've sent them on, and needs to rest. Therefore, we've got our Phantom Ranger in as a replacement, to scout for the squad. We have two Grenadiers, including a high-ranking one with hollow targeting. We have a Skirmisher, which we could use to potentially pull the commander towards us. Our Spark, for overdrive shooting. And a Gunslinger Sharpshooter, for lots of pistol shots. For equipment, we have a pretty similar setup to last time. We have Talon rounds on our Ranger, blue screen rounds on our Sharpshooter, our Skirmisher has the Mimic Beacon, and all three of our frontline units have mine shields, just in case the Chosen does turn up. We're tracking the Advent General and his escorts, but we don't have an exact fix on their location. Sweep the area and eliminate the target along with any other hostiles that stand in your way. As I expected, Commander, there are significant readings indicative of the lost moving throughout the combat zone. Be careful out there. This mission is actually one you can get very early in the game, and it can be quite tricky to stop the Commander from escaping at that point. The interesting thing to note is that there's no timer until you break concealment, and then an extraction will get called in for the commander to escape to. So the goal is to find the commander before you break concealment. Moving to designated coordinates. We may as well get our skirmisher into high ground early. Utilizing hook. Moving. We've got our first pod, an officer and a purifier. They're going to activate because they can see the lost, so we need to make sure we're quite far forward so that we can take part in this fight. There's a mech back there. I think the reason we broke concealment here is because of Hunter Protocol, our Spark is trying to take reaction shots. It might be possible to abuse that if you were to set everyone on Overwatch first. We can pull the officer up next to us and get rid of him right now. We actually managed to stun him for a turn. That's a fringe benefit of getting that ripjack upgrade. I want to work out where that purifier is, so we can move our squad to deal with him. If you say so. We still can't see him, so we'll focus on clearing Lost instead. I want to get my sharpshooter in a position where she can see as many of them as she can. We'll swap positions with our spark and put them on top of the bus. Moving to position! 
We still have the Between the Eyes resistance order, so we can just instantly kill any lost. X-ray neutralized! Terminated. We only have one lost left in range, so we'll just spread out and set up some overwatches, then try to get rid of it if we can. Ever vigilant. There's only the purifier left, so we may as well get rid of this officer right now. He procced a hair trigger anyway, so he can overwatch too. There's the extraction zone. We have to intercept the commander before he can get there. Miscalculation. I wanted to activate those lost so we can deal with them and keep moving. I probably should have used another unit and left our sharpshooter in high ground so she can shoot them easier. On your order! We can use demolition to remove the purifier's cover and avoid calling in more lost with a grenade. But only one of our grenadiers can see the target. Our ranger can't scout forwards because these two lost would spot him. I, I guess that'll be okay. Unfortunately, our other grenadier doesn't have enough ammo to use demolition. It's also a 39% shot, which is not good enough. We'll just keep moving up and clearing lost. Check it before you get too close. Ready to go. Weapons dry. Our spark can't see the target from up in the buildings. We'll just bring them forward for now. Movement request confirmed. Affirmative. Covering In one turn, our skirmisher will be able to grapple again. Let's do this. We can bring our ranger up onto the fire escape. That way he'll have a high ground overview of the area. We have to be careful not to smash through a window. to designated position. We found another pod, an Archon and two Mutons. I'm on it! I stand ready. I should have taken that shot with the Grenadier earlier to apply hollow targeting. Optical system recalibrated. The purifier is continuing to try and run away. That suggests there's a pod in the far left corner. <laughs> 
there's the Advent Commander there, on the left. Hostile target down! We'll send someone in to reveal them, and hopefully they scatter towards us. I'm trusting you here. Advent forces on the ground. Objective sighted. Target identity confirmed. That's the general. Take him out before they can escape. We won't get another shot at this. I got them both, Adopti. They're in a really good spot. We can get them with the rocket and probably finish them off this turn. This will almost certainly call in some more lost, but it's worth it so we don't have to chase him. Since this lost is a 100% shot, we may as well get it out of the way now. I definitely got that. Then we'll take a hollow targeting shot at the commander. Our sharpshooter can see the target, but it's a squad sight shot. We'll move up and try for the pistol shot. Heading out. Target neutralized. Menace one five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We then we'll also finish off the mech with blue screen rounds. All that we've got to do now is kill the remaining enemies. Servos engaged. Set Overwatch priority. We want to move our Ranger away from this pod, because if they spot some lost while we can see them, then they'll activate. So we'll sneak out of here and see if we can get them to patrol into our Overwatch instead. Then we'll just set everyone up on Overwatch. Let's move already! I await their approach. Come get some. That's the purifier that ran away earlier. Looks like he's boxed in. Our sharpshooter has almost guaranteed shots on all of them, so we'll start clearing up. X-ray neutralized! Hostile terminated! Target down. We'll bring our ranger back in, and next turn, we'll quickly hop out onto the fire escape to see where they are. On Overwatch. What's over there? Here I come! 
Ideally the Archon pod comes towards us. We'll reload and overwatch. Overwatch! Must reload now! Detection. On Overwatch! Reload in progress. Scanning for targets. Unfortunately, we didn't get much damage. Archons are very hard to hit. I have failed us. I'm surprised the Muton didn't get a counter-attack there. No life signs present. Ready to engage! We can't see the other Muton yet, and the Archon went inside the store. This makes it fairly difficult to deal with them, because we can't easily engage them. We'll bring our spark down, it seems like they can't get many good shots from that angle. On approach. There's the muton back there, you could see him for a brief second. We can't move our ranger out because of this lost. We'll try and deal with it first. Still can't move, looks like the one underneath can see us. Hostile target eradicated. Heading to that location. Got a group of Here's another pod, a specter, a stun lancer and a purifier. With all the lost around, they will activate next turn if we keep eyes on them. For now, we'll try and shoot this muton. Enemy is still up! Our hollow targeting grenadier had to reload, so he's kinda limited. There's not much point sending anyone else out. We can send our skirmisher up for high ground though. And then, while we're here, we may as well remove some of these lost. My weapon is almost depleted. My ammo is depleted. Reloading weapon. We need the Archon and Muton to come a little closer. I'm not too worried as there's a decent chance they go for lost instead.
Now this pod activates, which is five active aliens. We need to start thinning them out. Ideally we deal with the Archon and Muton first, then the Stun Lancer. We're almost certainly going to have to use the Mimic Beacon. First we can have our Spark hop up onto the Fire Escape for a high ground shot. Movement engaged. But before that, we can bring our Sharpshooter in to clear some more of these lost. Then we'll take our Grenadier in and take a hollow targeting shot at the Archon. We're actually flankable by the Muton here, but the Mimic Beacon should handle it. Okay, I'll go. That won't do it. We could break concealment with our Ranger, as that should be all the pods. The problem is if we stay here, then we become a grenade target for the Muton. We could even run and gun to a new position. We'll come back to that later. For now we'll finish off this Archon. He can't dodge it, because it's a 100% shot. Targeted unit down. Limited ammo remaining. Target eliminated. Ideally our grenadier can hit the stun lancer to shred it, but the pillars along this wall are blocking her line of sight. Our skirmisher can grapple, but there aren't any safe positions for him to grapple to. We'll take him in, and he can throw the mimic beacon at the end of the turn. Our grenadier can see the stun lancer from back here. This is a little bit risky because we're quite close together. And there's also this lost we've missed that's going to be a problem. We can get our skirmisher to take care of it though, and still be able to throw the Mimic Beacon. Now we can bring our Grenadier in, and hopefully she gets the Shred on the Stun Lancer. I want to shoot the Stun Lancer to finish it off, but we can use Whiplash which is a free action, as there aren't going to be any other mechanical enemies.
Now we'll throw the mimic beacon out before I forget. It needs to be in a position where all of them can see it. We can hit this fuel tank to deal some damage to the Spectre, but it will call in some more lost. That's Hunter Protocol kicking in again. We'll bring our Ranger down. We could use Run and Gun with our Soldier Bond to give an action to our Grenadier, but she can't see much from her position. We can kill this Spectre if we roll anything other than Min damage. You're just lucky they don't let me use my spotter. Here comes the Purifier from earlier. Also, the AI tend to Suicide Rush Mimic Beacons, which is another benefit. And purifiers actually can't do anything to mimic beacons, with the possible exception of incendiary grenades. Apparently, Lost can't hit them either. There's a brute back here that I'm looking for. He went up onto the fire escape to chase our skirmisher. We'll start by taking our hollow targeting grenadier in to take a shot at the muton. If you say so. Our skirmisher can see the muton to finish it off, but first we need to get rid of the brute. and take a shot at this dasher, since it's 100%. We might miss these shots, so we'll just go for the muton now. We procced a hair trigger again, so we may as well keep shooting. Ammunition nearly gone. I'm reloading ammo. We've got a dasher here. I tried to move in for the pistol shot, but the pillars are blocking the line of sight again. This purifier is behind some full cover. Ideally we want to use demolition instead of a grenade, but our other grenadier can't reach any good spots to see him.
We could sit next to the fuel tank, but it's on fire already. Eventually I realize we can use run and gun to get a flanking shot. I'm coming for you. Running. These are just regular lost, but we'll take out the closest one just to be sure. Now we can reload and use demolition on the other purifier. He's still got armor, so we'll go with our spark first. That should be all the aliens, so all we have to do is clear the lost we've aggroed. Adjusting aim. Ideally we want to get our sharpshooter up into a high ground position, but there aren't many good spots she can reach. We'll want to get her a grapple suit at some point. We'll move our sharpshooter so she can see some more targets. Heading out. Hostile target down. Hostile terminated. We'll make sure we get rid of the dasher that's right next to us first. Target neutralized. Ammunition depleted. Reload. Hostile threat destroyed. Target eliminated. Then we'll take our skirmisher out, as there's another fire escape over there. We can't get on the fire escape, but we can grapple to the awning, which will be awkward for the lost to get to. Engaged. I 
love it. Dead in the water here. I want to try and finish this lost as soon as possible before we get another wave, but I'm actually out of ammo. We could have tried a slash instead, but I'm worried about revealing more idol lost. I probably should have just given him another action using our soldier bond. Tired of waiting around. Ready to rock. We still had several more lost outside our line of sight anyway. I'm a bit worried about all the dashers coming down next to our ranger. You want some more? The dasher is going for our skirmisher instead, so it has to go all the way around. accomplished that was a very long mission because of how many lost we activated the advent commander came out to us in a clearing so we could just blow him up if the terrain had been more awkward we would have just used justice to pull him out of cover as you saw it's important on these missions to make sure that your scout is not causing the enemies to activate on lost that's why we pulled our ranger back on that archon pod otherwise you lose the chance to go for an overwatch ambush Our new recruits aren't hesitating when it comes to taking out the aliens. We've got a few more promotions to look through. We're going to be giving Bladestorm to our ranger. This might activate from concealment, but only if they run right next to him anyway. We get another hollow targeting grenadier, which is excellent. At Captain Rank, skirmishers get access to two really good abilities. First you have combat presence, which allows you to just give one of your actions to another teammate. So if your skirmisher is not in a good position, you can just give your action away to a teammate who is, or even set up combos like grenade and then shoot with a hollow targeting grenadier. And then you also have retribution, which is basically just bladestorm for skirmishers. It's not quite as good, because they don't have blade master for the additional hit chance. Since we skipped the abilities at corporal, we're also able to unlock both of these. Interrupt is just really lacking unfortunately. It only has a single charge per mission and you need to set it up in advance, so you might use it and then just not trigger a reaction and have it be wasted. You have done an outstanding job leading the Resistance, Commander. We do want the alien alloys, but I want to make sure we have plenty of options available if the Avatar project starts getting full again. The Elder's Hunter is after something in this area. Contacts located. This next region is going to cost a lot of intel to contact, so we're going to build a radio relay first. But before we do that, we also need to build an infirmary for our Reaper. We're still running low on power, so we'll also have to upgrade our power relay and staff another engineer there. Now 
Now we can build the infirmary. We'll leave the two engineers excavating though, because it'll only take another day to finish. If we want to build this radio relay, we need 50 supplies, so we need to make a quick detour over to the black market. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. We're going to sell the incendiary grenade, as we're not using it much, and then a few stun lancer corpses. At the time I wasn't sure whether we needed them for something else. They're only used for creating spider suits, which we'll probably end up skipping over. Now we can head back over and build this radio relay. Radio relays have two functions, they increase the income of that region, and they also reset the intel cost to 40 for contacting nearby regions. New objective added. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. We should check where that mission is first. Commander, we have a fix on the location of the Alien Forge facility, but we'll still need to establish contact with the local resistance forces before we can move in to investigate. We're close to it, but unfortunately it costs 120 intel to contact, and we've just started building a new radio relay. We're going to have to sit on this for the time being. We're also going to have to go back to the Shadow Chamber and research the Codex brain coordinates. This mission is harder than the Forge facility, but we need to have options for the Avatar project. Now we're done with all our rooms, so we'll assign one of the engineers to build the infirmary faster, and for the other one, we'll assign them to the resistance ring so we can complete covert actions quicker. succeeded in our task. We want to do another reduce avatar progress action, but we also want to do this hunt the chosen action before the end of the month. They take 5 and 7 days each, so we'll check to see how much time we've got. We've got 8 days left until the next set, so what we can do is quickly do the hunt the chosen action first, as there's not really any risks, and then go on the Reduce Avatar Progress 1, which will then carry over into next month. For the mobility bonus, we'll have to give it to one of our low-level rangers. We don't want to send Piranha, because all our other high-ranking rangers are out currently. My kind will do whatever is needed. Back to building the relay. Reading you loud and clear. Now let's start contacting this region so we have this facility available. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. We'll also have to upgrade our resistance comms. Local region. New objective added. We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant... New objective added. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. We've locked in the coordinates Shen and Tigan pulled from the Codex, Commander. But we'll have to make contact with the local resistance cell before we can move to investigate the site. This mission actually works out quite well, because it's only one region away from the one we're currently contacting. We'll probably go for this, but we have to get some resistance contacts first though. Well of your attempts to comprehend their vision. <laughs> it is a we are victorious, and the cause is advanced. We've just got some new intel on the Chosen. It should be easy. Tactical analysis is actually a pretty good resistance order, but the problem with it is you're usually killing the enemies before they get a chance to act anyway. It can still be a great fallback option if you have some slots spare. But more importantly, we now have an extra skirmisher slot for resistance orders. Our 
influence with the resistance factions has motivated now we're going to do the other reduce avatar progress action as we said previously there's no chance of ambush but we don't quite have the supplies needed to negate the capture risk so we'll have to make another quick trip over to the black market avenger plotting new course market is open We'll sell just one more Stun Lancer corpse for now. Commander, we should make use of the ring facility and deploy. Now we'll send the covert action off. I could have put our Templar in the sergeant slot for the mobility bonus. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Then back to contacting that region. For West Asia. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the Resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Now we've been rapidly expanding, we've managed to get a huge amount of supplies. We're going to be able to afford a lot of new upgrades. The elders have blessed me. No, empowered me. I am stronger than ever. And I will not fail. I was good before, but this... Blast shield is one of the worst strengths a Chosen can have. Now your explosive weapons are only good for removing cover from that Chosen, instead of also being guaranteed damage. The Assassin's going to start training now, and the Warlock still hasn't gotten to three blocks of knowledge yet. Once again, we've gotten the exact same two dark events as we had last month. Neither one of them will be good if it goes through. We'll have to see what our options are when we get our first Gorilla Op. Now we can take this weak points resistance order, put it into our skirmisher slot, and now we have room for a new one. Resistance contacts could actually be very good, we need more in order to contact the Codex Coordinates region. We'll move our Between the Eyes order into our Wild Card slot and put our Resistance Rising order into the Reaper slot. That way if it gets locked in, it's not taking up a Wild Card slot. It's as good as done. We'll go and get those supplies first, because we're currently broke. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. An inspiration for psionics is good, but I don't tend to use psi operatives that much. The problem is we can't actually do any beam research because we still don't have any alien alloys. We need to do the Archon autopsy in order to do the beam snipers research, so we could make a start on that for now. We could do the Viper autopsy for upgraded medikits, but we haven't been struggling that bad so far. There aren't many better options right now, so we'll do the Archon Autopsy. Commander, the infirmary can be used to improve the recovery process of our wounded soldiers. And over time, they'll also recuperate from any negative conditions they've picked up in combat. We can also speed up the process through therapy if needed. Now the infirmary is done, we can put our Reaper in to remove his negative trait, so he'll be back to full operational capacity. It's also a good boost for any injuries or fatigue our soldiers might get in the future. We won't staff an engineer here, because I don't believe it reduces the time to remove a negative trait. 
We've also got another engineer free now, but we don't really have any facilities where we need them. We could build a new facility, but there's not really anything we desperately need. We'll just have to put them into resistance comms for now. This is why you don't necessarily need a lot of engineers, because otherwise they won't be doing much at the end. We'll finish collecting these supplies. Then we'll make a trip over to the black market and see what they've got this month. Market is open. Unfortunately, they've still only got stocks and auto loaders. We could buy another superior speed, but we've already got one and they're not that important. As for sales, we can sell the repeater. This is why I tend to hang on to attachments, in case they come up as very interested items. Then it's back to making contact. Course for the West Asian Corridor. That it would take a machine for you to truly understand the Elder's ways shows the depth of your inexperience. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. We've managed to finally get the Avatar project back under control, and our Grenadier has also got promoted. We might take the Elders by surprise if we switch up our tactics. Maybe we should try something new. We can now do the third hunt the Chosen action, but it doesn't unlock a new slot. You're limited to two per faction. We also don't need to finish this yet. He still hasn't even gotten into his fourth knowledge bar. Volunteer Army though is very good. Every mission there's a small chance you'll get a random resistance soldier, increasing your squad size to seven. We'll want to come back to this later. We've got another sabotage action, as well as improved auto pistols, which are always solid upgrades. There's a lot of good stuff we'll have to get through this month. We may even have to forego improving our skirmisher reputation. Now we're back to six blocks, we can probably afford to sit on the Avatar project at least for a bit. We'll do the auto pistol first, since it'll be an immediate upgrade. We'll give the aim bonus to one of our sharpshooters. Not Showdown, because she's already got a lot of aim, and not Skybolt, because she's still got all the equipment from the last mission. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. We could also upgrade our resistance ring. It gives you another wild card slot, but it also takes up more power. We could wait until the end of the month, but there aren't a lot of other projects I have in mind right now. Next month we'll have another slot to assign a resistance order. to you done them will you be their protector come show your worth it's time for another retaliation on this mission we're going to be dealing with a new enemy type we're also dealing with chrysalids which is going to be a major nuisance and finally we also have specters and codexes so there's still reason to bring blue screen rounds setting course for the mexican regional tract <laughs> 